First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Yager with First Capital RI3D, and we have a little uh, color demo for you uh, using the vinyl colors that will be used on the wheel uh, on the field. So right here is the uh, the Rev V3 color sensor that uh, you get in your kit of parts. So we basically just took this, plugged it into a Roborio just to see how it reacts to the to the vinyl to see if it, we could use it uh, as a, a detection device. And uh, one thing I'd like to note. Uh, when you're plugging into your Robo Rio, you do have to switch the uh, data cables for the I squared C f between SDL and, or SCL and SDA. So make sure you know exactly what wire is going where, so that you're getting your proper data. So basically, all we did here is we went onto Rev's website and we downloaded their sample code for this uh, sensor. And then what we did is we uh, added the library, uh, the JSON for the uh, color sensor to our code base. Um, and that's extremely important so that when someone else references your code base, if you're using version control, that way it uh, keeps across multiple things. So the way to do that is if you go into your, uh, your code base, you basically go up here in the top right hand corner to your WPI lib button, manage vendor libraries, and then uh, you basically install new libraries online and paste the link on their website in that bar and it'll install it right there. So that is, uh, that is an important step to make sure that your stuff's going to work between versions. And uh, Steven's going to talk about uh, the results of our tests. Hi, my name's Steven Kermain. Uh, I'm also with Robot in Three Days Team Capital and I work with the Livonia robotics teams in uh, Michigan and so all we basically did was we went to Rev's website uh, they have sample code available for the color sensor and we basically just inserted it into our code and got it running and then we have a little live demo you can see um, we can kind of lift up the sensor and if you, uh, yeah, you want to yep so we can see it's over the green right now and we can see that it's detecting green with a 97 percent confidence um, if we switch over to the blue when we're in blue we're even more confident um, we have noticed uh, when you go over to the red and then yellow when you go with the red, we can see that the confidence is not very high. So with our initial testing, we've basically found that uh, while, the, while Rev gives good default calibrations, when you guys go to competitions, you're going to want to make sure that you calibrate your color sensor to the field to make sure all your readings will come up correct. So uh, I believe that's all we had. And yeah, and uh, all of our, our code, you can check out what we're doing on our on our GitHub repository is completely public. Uh, it's under uh, TechFire's uh, domain, and it's uh, RI3D 2020 is the GitHub repo. And we'll post the link uh, somewhere for you guys to be able to find that. So you can watch uh, our process as we're going through. Right now, it's kind of empty, but when we get more stuff, uh, there'll be stuff there for you to, to watch um, and keep, keep up track with. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our first capital RA3D sponsors.